Peace and blessings be upon all my brothers out there and all my sisters out there in the world. It is your brother Jehoshaphat Israel in the sanctuary. All glory given to Father for his worth. All glory given to his might. All glory given to his long suffering. All glory given to his favors. All glory given to his blessings that he put upon us. All glory given to Yah, the Lord of hosts, for he is the only one who is worthy. I bless his name, the Holy One of Israel, and the name of Yahshua HaMashiach, for he is the only one who is worthy. What is good, family? It is your brother, Jehoshaphat Israel. What's good, family? And we in the saints we're in. It's, it's Thursday. It's Thursday night. I believe it is the 12th. I could be, I could be wrong on that. It could be the 12th or the 13th. All I know is it's Thursday night at... 8 12 so we got some time let's let's talk about let's talk about real quickly what what does it mean to have an uncircumcised heart what does that mean jehosa what does it mean brother i don't understand it brother brother can you tell me what a uncircumcised heart is that's good family that's easy family it's easy family it's a person not willing to love God. Can you imagine that there are people actually in this world who are just not willing to put their love, to put their trust into loving God? For before they would do anything, they would have a hatred for God inside of their heart and they would not try to conform themselves to love him, to understand him, to walk with him, to hold fast to all of his statutes, laws and commandments, to love him, to believe in him, to cherish him, to want to give him all of their heart. This is what it means, family. What is it? What is an uncircumcised heart means? A person who is not willing to love God. It's sad, family. It's sad, family. I told you, family. You didn't know. You didn't understand. That's all right. I'm going to teach you, family. I'm going to teach you every single thing that he teaches me, family, for you to understand. Because that's just one more thing that I just didn't understand when I was younger, family. What is an uncircumcised heart? I don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand it. Now... I'm not saying that nobody's faking, but it has to be understood in a way for people to understand it, family. Not all people comprehend things the way that another person would. So I hate to say it when a person like me says, what is an uncircumcised heart? Now people know what it is since I explained it. If not, they wouldn't even know. It's sad, family. It's, not, it's, it's sad, family, an uncircumcised heart. Now, your father, he said that his people were stiff-necked. Stiff-necked, family, stiff-necked. That Okay, now, how would you look at that, family? How would you look at that? Would you look at that as, oh, that's a person who got a, a neck. Their neck is stiff, and they can't turn to the left or turn to the right. They only going to do it one way. That's one way of looking at it. Stiff neck can be looked at as you being completely rebellious, meaning that you do not want to do nothing that God wants you to do. Number two, stiff neck means that you're not willing, family, willing to do it his way. So these are three different ways you can look at what stiff neck means. A rebellious person that wants to give in to their own ways that don't want to do the will of God. And that's what he says about our people. And as I look at it. Our people, is this what you see? Is it what you see, family? And I really, I really have to thank family. I really have to thank when I, when I look at my people, and what I'm asking of all my brothers and all my sisters out there in the world as I look at your people, family. And it, and it be a lot now. Let's let's talk about let's talk about your ancient ancestors in the days of antiquity. Let's talk about them for a second. Um, part of part of our covenant with God is for us to remember our slavery. He just never wants us to see them. They have to remember coming out of Egypt for the rest of the time, the rest of the time of their life. The new thing is you remembering the slavery that you just you just came out of. So 
as I look at my people in current day, it still ain't no same. It ain't no different, family. He want us to remember the slavery that we just came out of. Why he want us to remember for Jehoshaphat? Because he don't want us slipping, family. He don't want us acting bad and doing the same thing so he can do these Thing. You know, your brother, I'm going to keep on saying it to you and put it in a different lens or a different angle so your mind can comprehend, family. He ain't playing with us like that. So as I, as I look at my people being stiff-necked, and then I know I know that, okay, now your, your father, he goes to people to make them make a better decision when they go make a bad decision. But sometimes he hardens people hard to do whatever the hell they want to do, family. And as I look at my people, I have to ask myself that question, family. I have to be realistic. Is, is Yah, the Lord of hosts, sitting here hardening my people heart so much to where they going to kill off they all themselves? That's a tough question to put on the table right here in the sanctuary for tonight. If you if you spiritually in, in decline, you're not going to be able to understand that. If you're not worrying about what's happening with your people or your father, you're not going to understand that I'm saying. But as I put those things back on the table, family, and as I look at them like any man should look at them, is my father hardening my brother's heart to where they could kill themselves? That's what he be doing to people, family. He does that, family. Look, we went from stiff neck. Now, they, he already saying they stiff neck. But what happens when he sit there and he hardens a person heart to do whatever they want to do? Look at your people and you answer that for me tonight. Has God heartened black people's heart? So-called so -called African American, his true children, Hebrew people, Israelites in this in this North America. Has he done that, family? Has he hardened their heart to do whatever they want to do? Look at your brothers and look at your sisters and the, the evils that we give into. Family, we was talking about evil yesterday and how it should be done away with, even though people people don't even believe that. But let's go back to this heart hardened thing. Now Yah, the Lord of hosts, the God of this heavens and the earth, he will harden a person hard to give in to whatever evil that they wanted to do. That's not like he's not like he's not forcing them, family, but he's letting them go all the way in it, family, of whatever they want to do, family. And it's going to cost them. Now, Ramesses, it cost Ramesses, the Pharaoh, the Pharaoh of Egypt, it cost him all of his horsemen, all of his chariots and his great army of men straight killers it cost him that so look at look is that what is that what yah is doing here in north america he's letting all the evil the evil hebrews die off and kill themselves is he doing that family what do you, you know what i'm saying i'm realistic family i ask questions family as i look at my people statewide in every in every in every um city in every state across the the great lands that we live here family and look at our people family and look what look at our brothers and what they doing to each other you know what i'm saying this is what he does family i told you with with yah everything comes with a price family are you willing to pay it and now look at look at what's happening you can say he's doing it or not. It's still happening, family. So it has to be a cause and effect, too. You know what I'm saying? It, hey, so as I'm looking at it, I don't want to be I don't want to be a cursed brother. I don't, family. I, I really don't, family, because he means all the words that he's he said, like like. A lot of people don't know. Like these these Ten Commandments, those is to yo to your people. You know what I'm saying? Yo people, family. You know what I'm saying? Other other black or so called black people who lived before that time, they didn't even have it like that, family. They didn't even have them commandments like that. You got them, family. God spoke them directly to you. It, this was so important. The Ten Commandments was so important that he had to gather up all your ancestors and have them come to the mountain to where he spoke these things to to all of them to remember, family. All his laws, his statutes, his limitations. We should cherish. We, he wants us to cherish these things and hold them dear to our heart, family. He really does, family. Okay, what else he said about his people? He said they got a stiff neck. He said they got a, uh, they rebellious. What else did he say? Am I missing something here? Hold on, family. Am I missing something? So as your brother, as your brother look at his, his people here in 
this country. I just look at the things of what our father is doing to them for them being so damn rebellious in all of their ways, family. You know what I'm saying? And being them being rebellious in all their ways and the things that he has happened to him, family. Is he gonna spare? Is he gonna spare them in the grace beyond? I don't know about that, family. So you know your brother. I'm gonna try to be right and getting right and stay right and, and do all these things that I have to do up over here, family. And I'm grateful each and every single day, family. I, I really am. You know what I'm saying? He wanted me to go over. He wanted me to go over this one story. And like I was saying about your people, family, it was part of their covenant to remember their slavery, to never forget it, family. So when people say, when people say, well, them people sold your people in slavery, part of their covenant with God is for them never to do a person the way that they have been done. And... And for them people to own slaves and sell your ancestors and make so much money on the back of your ancestors, the back of the slaves, family, lets me know they are not the people who they say that they are or not. According to according to your word of God is showing that they are not because they're doing every single thing that they should not be doing or never meant to do, family. If if this wasn't so, the Father would never, ever, ever, ever want us to celebrate the Passover. If the if I'm if I'm not telling you the truth, right? And let's say it's it's just it's false. Then that means He would never want us to acknowledge the Passover. And the Passover is acknowledging the point that you was a slave at one point, and you gonna fight against it. Not only was you a slave, but you gonna fight against it. So. You know what I'm saying? So you look at them people and you tell me, does it look like they was ever slaves? Because they ain't saying they was never slaves. Then you tell me, are they fighting against slavery with everything that they have, family? Are they kind to the people who try to join inside of their borders? And do they let people in and help people out? Um, I'm just saying, family. Facts, family. What's going on here, family? Never been in slavery. Ain't fighting against no slavery. Ain't helping out nobody. Oh, and I forgot. At war too. At at war with with with, with your neighbors. Just like the Bible, just like the Bible said you would be. You know what I'm saying? Just like the just like the Bible said they're straight up some imposters, family. It's a shame, family. So he doing all kind of, he doing, it, it, you, it's just like we ain't no different than our ancestors because the same things. Like we up over here and he waiting, if, as I'm looking, he, he ain't even waiting till we die off. He waiting till we kill each other off, family. We way more cutthroat than our ancestors, family. We way more savage than our ancestors as I look at this, family. Look, family, I'm just pleading my, I'm pleading my heart out with my hands out to you. You know what I'm saying? Innocent like up over here, family. Like I'm, I'm telling you, family, look, look, they was walking around the desert. They got all old and they died. These men were warriors. Some of them could have been cowards at some point, but they were men of valor. They were men of war, family. They were warriors, family. They fought, family. You know what I'm saying? They conquered, family, on quests, family. They went into battle, family. They engaged people, family, and killed them, family. So these men were, were, were walking, walking around. Well, I can't say they were lost, but... They lived their life until they died, family, in the desert, family. Now, look over here in America, family. They're killing themselves until they all die, family. He, it's, like, it's like gladiators, and he have our people pit against each other, killing each other off, family, and letting us die over here in North America, family, until all of the, the men of war are, are dead, family. Do you think it'll come to a point to where all the men of war are dead, family? Well, we call them we call them gangsters and we call them thugs and we call them 
What do we call them? Family. What are the, what are the words that we use for people who attack their own people and kill their own selves? Also, this is how I look at it, family. I really do, family. We still up over here in North America. What we I can't say we wondering, but we still our people are lost, family. They are lost. They know where they at, but they still know different than their ancestors doing the same thing, family. It's a damn shame, family. But it's even more cutthroat, family. God, he's speeding things. Uh, he, he's sitting there like, okay, well, all you gangsters and all you thugs, well, y'all can just sit there and just kill each other off, you know what I'm saying, until all of y'all dead, you know what I'm saying, it's got to come to a point to where all of y'all going to be dead, you know what I'm saying, from the things that he let you do and then the things that he do to you, no matter where you go, you know what I'm saying, I told you, there is no place you can't hide if you don't change your way from the Lord of hosts, you know what I'm saying, they'd be like, oh, Joseph, you going hard on them, you going hard on them, this and this and this and this, but I told you what your father said, you know what I'm saying, I told you what he said and i told you what he doing and i told you what he allows to happen family you know different than your ancestors you don't have to accept these things for them to overtake you family all you got to do is go against yah the lord of hosts it's all you got to do family it's all you have to do family okay small story let's let's go back i have to recap on the small story now i was i was walking down the street and family, I know family, I, I know family, I, I know, I'm not saying, well, you, you need to mind your business, but when you see a 